What's up guys, Intellitech Studios here, and today we have the Hoover. That's all it's called. But most people know this as the Hoover Prefer, or the Hoover Spirit. There's not really an official name for this exact body style um, that's sort of well accepted. But most people recognize it when they see it. It looks essentially like a Hooverized Bissell Power Force. But this particular one is a model number, if I can find it. It is model number U5018, of course, dash 900 like everything else. Now this one, unfortunately, does have... Rocco, get, get off the table. Go, get off the table. Rocco, you're not allowed on the table. Get down. Get... Anyways, so this particular one has a broken cord hook, unfortunately, and the body is faded in some spots. You can see where it's faded right there on the main body which is unfortunate because i'd love to sell this to another collector but what collector is willing to pay for this uh, at least enough for it to make it worthy of shipping that's what i don't quite get so right now it's it's kind of just been rotting away in the basement um i the motor sounded really bad on this but i let it sit for a while and then i ran it again and now it sounds fine so Maybe that did something. Also, the cord hook's broken. So, like, a lot of, like, little things. It's a type of machine where, like, it's just rare enough that I don't really want to get rid of it. But it's also not so rare that someone would be willing to pay for it with it being in the condition it's in. At least that's my understanding of it. So, you guys decide what I do with this. Do I keep it and just use it as a beater back or put it in the collection or sell it? Because I really don't want to put it in the collection because it doesn't look great. But, you know... It could always be like a good vacuum. It takes Type Z bags, and I know it needs a headlight, but I've got a Bissell Style 7 bag in there. You can tell how little I care about this machine because there's not even a HEPA bag in there, just one of the crappy Febreze ones. But it does still work. It does have a change bag indicator, and it does have a headlight, so that is kind of nice. So it is a decent machine. And. You know, it has spots for all the attachments. I could you, I could technically daily drive this if I wanted to. Because you can still get bags for it, even though they're quite odd. Because even though it takes Type-Z and those are kind of strange to find, you can always fit in a Bissell Style 7, even if they're a bit short. Brush roll's in good shape. It's the original brush roller. So, you know, but it, all the bristles are good. Bearings are good. So there's no real reason for me to replace it. At least not practically. So... You know, it's one of those things. I don't remember how good the belt is in this. I thought I put a belt on it recently, but I'm not sure if it's stretched out in the time it sat. It has a lot of airflow. You can feel a lot of air rushing through this machine. So we'll definitely give this a bit of a run. I'm going to put this on medium because that should be better for this carpet. And, uh, yeah, should be good. Looks like this... That one's not closed, so we'll close that real quick. And we'll give this a bit of a run. Headlight doesn't work, but whatever. I need, I need to replace that bulb.
mo the motor is a little bit off balance, which explains why it was loud at first. The whole thing does rattle a fair bit, but I also never refurbished this thing. This thing is, I literally just wiped down the outside of it. This thing has not gotten refurb yet, so it's entirely possible there might be some debris throwing the motor off balance, which might explain why it sounded bad before, but sounded sounds better now because whatever's in there might have got dislodged or something. But yeah. So that's the Hoover. I don't know. After I use, now that I use this for a bit, I kind of like it a little bit more. But do I like it enough to keep it? I don't know. Because I mean, it, it just reminds me of a Bissell. Just a slight, just reminds me of a bulkier Bissell Power Force or Power Glide. Um, and just worse in every way. Not like because it cleans bad or runs bad or anything. It's just, it's just more clunky. But it's not really built any better. Than the equivalent Bissell, so what's the point? So, because you know, for, for for this amount of weight, the Powerglide Platinum has got the wide cleaning path, and it's got an onboard turbo brush and headlight and back check indicator like this does. Uh, well, I should say the latter two that this does, but then also has an onboard turbo brush and a better carrying handle. This carrying handle sucks. It's really uncomfortable. But uh, yeah. So, it works. I'll do a full review on this at some point. It's probably one of those machines that I might just hold on to in case someone needs a vacuum. But the problem is, I literally offer someone a free vacuum. They'll be like, hey, it's free. And then it comes with a bunch of bags. They're like, oh, I don't want it if it's not bagless. I'm like, really? You don't want a free vacuum that works? They're like, nope, not unless it's bagless. I'm like, you entitled... F Anyways, so, the, um, this machine does work now. If I remember correctly, the only reason, the only thing that was wrong with it was it needed a belt. It didn't sound the best, and I think the uh, the bag had like burst inside the machine. I think I could be wrong about that. I can't remember at this point. But then it has its original filters in it, but they are still serviceable, for sure. So nothing wrong with that really. So we take a look at this. So, see, I think I, you know, it's uh, definitely got some scratches. But yeah, so if I pop open the bag door, this uh, Febreze little filter tab is actually doing its job, surprisingly, because this is a new bag. Um, so when these Febreze bags are new, they actually smell quite nice. Problem is the smell goes away so quickly, and these things, these bags leak a good amount of dust. You can already see some staining on it. But there's a pre-motor filter with some debris, some debris on it. So not the best. And there's the post-motor filter, again with some debris on it. So I guess it was probably my, a correct assumption that there was debris in the motor, considering there was literally hair coming out of the motor. So this thing definitely needs some TLC. Well, this just needs to be replaced, honestly. But, who knows? Uh, I don't really care enough to, but I don't know. Maybe if someone convinces me to, to care enough to clean this up, I will. But, hey, it's still interesting for sure, because how often do you see these on YouTube? Not very often. So that's, a, that's one thing that kind of makes me want to save it, even if it's not really worth the hassle. This little cam always wants to come undone. But uh, that's how much this thing rattles. It rattles literally. It'll rattle so much that that will slide over to the to the belt access side. And there'll be a lot more play on that side. So yeah. Anyways, that's the Hoover Preferred, which I'm gonna call it the Preferred because I have seen this exact color with the Preferred badge. This one is not called Preferred. But um, it's the Hoover UD, or not UD, U5018. Because the Dash 900 doesn't really do much. And of course it takes Type Z bags. But I'm not really sure. Do I even have Type Z bags? I don't think I do. Because a lot of new companies are just combining them with Type Y. Uh, which works, obviously. But if you're going to... If you're going to use Type Y in this and it's going to be too short anyways, you might as well use Bissell Style 7 so you can get 
more uh, attain bags that are easier to find. And also you have the option for HEPA, which if I do keep this machine, I'll eventually run HEPA in it. But right now, since there's debris coming out of the motor, what's the point of the better filtration? So, uh, yeah. So anyways, that is that. So this was Intelltech Studio signing out, which is a quick demo of the Hoover Preferred. And, uh, yeah. So, other videos are definitely coming as well. This one I just happened to have downstairs because I was gonna, I was originally gonna show a friend of mine it running poorly, and then it just started running good again, so it was already downstairs. So I figured I'd do a video on it. So yeah, that's that. Anyways, Intelltech Studios signing out. Have a good one. Peace. Uh, did you have this machine back then? I'd love to hear your thoughts. So this will get a full review at some point, by the way. I just, uh, right now, just had to run it first and see how well it runs.